The Biden administration is taking steps to give Americans more access to COVID-19 information. They unveiled a new website that provides data on vaccines, tests, treatments, and masks. If you head to covid.gov, you'll see this website. It's a one-stop shop available in English, Spanish, and Chinese. President Biden also says Congress needs to provide more funding to help the country stay ahead of the COVID-19 virus. The CDC says they're predicting the average number of deaths daily will drop over the next four weeks. It's good news, but it's still more than 14,000 people expected to die from COVID-19 over the next month. And the Biden administration is expecting to end pandemic restrictions on the U.S. border with Mexico very soon. The Trump era policy blocked most immigrants from entering the U.S. since March of 2020. But critics say it was never backed by science and puts immigrants at risk. The CDC is expected to announce the decision this week. The president gave an update in the fight against COVID yesterday. Congress, we need to secure additional supply now, now. We can't wait until we find ourselves in the midst of another surge to act. It'll be too late. And we also need this, this funding to continue our efforts to vaccinate the world. If you've been itching to hit the high seas but worried about COVID having to stop you, you can breathe a little easier now. That's because the CDC just dropped its risk assessment of cruise travel. For more than two years now, health officials have been warning people not to go on cruises. But now, since COVID-19 cases on cruise ships have been dropping over the past several weeks, the CDC has given cruises the green light. Now, this does not mean there's no risk. The CDC says you're better off vaccinated and you should research how each cruise line handles public health measures.